Now it's going to be Geraldo Perdomo looking for his first big league hit right here. Perdomo. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Foul ball there. The 0 1. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. And a pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Upstairs. One, two. One, two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The wide to kick the pitch. On the ground to third, and that one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. Geraldo Perdomo with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. This is Corbin Carroll trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Ball oh. one there. Corbin Carroll was an easy choice for Rookie of the Year in 2023. Voters made him the unanimous choice after he put together a consistent season that took a lot of drama away from the announcement. The world of baseball knew he was going to win it. Ground ball up the middle. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Corbin Carroll with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0 1. Late swing, fouled off. Upstairs, ball one. And the count is one and two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. And another ball would lay off that pitch down. Oh. Next one misses. Full count now. Okay. Josh Bell to bat next. And the right hander deals. Headed towards the corner. Snags it on the run. 
Well, he tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Kevin Newman. And Boog, we're talking about a guy who has great wheels and then puts them to good use. He's the team leader in stolen bases and run score, man. Using his speed to just get in the scoring position and then just flying home when the guy's behind to put the ball in play. I absolutely love watching him do it because he causes havoc on the base paths. Josh Woo! Bell in the box now. Takes strike one. First and third, one down. Ground ball could be two, wisely. Now two away as they get a run across. That is it. The designated hitter, Randall Gritchick. Randall Gritchick now. Right through there for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Two outs. On the ground foul to the ball. left. And foul ball. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. Uh -huh. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Giants coming up. Back here at Oracle Park. Our starting pitcher in this one, Brandon Fack. Safe to say he's pretty stingy, Chris. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking really up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. And now it's the Giants' DH. Mike Yastrzemski. And yeah, that's too high. Lined into right. Carroll calls it in, and there's one away. That is now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. Already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb. But, yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. Tyler Fitzgerald in the box now. No balls and a strike. One out, base is empty. The shortstop takes a ball. One down, base is empty. That Whoa. one off the mark, and the count's two, even two. at two. Huh. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And that that's the good. first strikeout no, of his good. major league career. And it could be no, the first of many. If he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him, he doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill yep. is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Two down, nobody on. He swings and fouls one off.
Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Two outs, bases empty. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And that is that. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Top of the second. Off and the now line. Jake McCarthy. Jake McCarthy. And a pitch. That's down and in. Ground ball right foul. side, and that's just foul. 1-1 one, one down. Sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Jake McCarthy with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. That's in there. That's strike one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Only two now. Ball, Just inside. off the inside edge. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. That inside. pitch just misses the inside corner, and the count is even two and two. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Double play ball to second. Steps on the back for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. We don't see four three double plays all that often because it makes you as the second baseman move away from the target you're throwing to in order to get the force at second. But he looked very sure of himself on that one. Nicely done. The batter now, Kevin Newman. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. Two outs. Two and there's low. a ball. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that is Eat that. Out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Giants nothing. Bottom of the second. Leading Here's up. a cleanup hitter Leading for the Giants, down. Matt Chapman. The it's interesting Matt. he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And a foul ball, he stays alive. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Matt Chapman with his first major league hit. 
And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Really. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Down just low. missed. Rudder at first with no outs here. Zero. This one in the dirt. To second, but way too late. Safe there. Chapman in the scored position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up in the scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. Two oh. Line drive. Carroll makes a nice running catch. That is good. The right fielder. Now it's the right fielder. And that's in for a strike. One out and a runner at second. That misses. And one and one. And strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Man at second. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Kicks and fires. Ball two. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Tying run in scoring position. Bottom half of inning number two. Caught him looking for the K. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. In the air, fairly deep to right field. He's got it, and the inning is over. So the Giants leave one. They're down one nothing. Out of the third inning, and here is Jose Herrera. Herrera. The pitch. Herrera measures five feet ten inches, 27 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Inside, just missed. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Oh, the throw is over his head, and it's going to wind up out of play. Jose Herrera with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Geraldo Perdomo will hit next. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. That's one outside. Oh. One and oh.
the pitch. Swing and a miss. The punch out there. One out. Here's a speed threat, Corbin Carroll. And he's already singled in this game. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Swings and chases a low one there. No ball. Two strikes. That's the third. A dive. He's got it. Throws from his knees. Out. And very nicely done for the out. Matt Chapman is as good as there is at third base right now in the big leagues. Great diving catch right there. This guy is so well-rounded in every play a third baseman can make. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Flips uh -huh. the corner. Strike one. Oh, one. And he deals. Ball Pitch one. misses there. And now it's even one, one and one. one. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that's a base hit. Around third. Fires it to the plate, but it's offline. No, he's safe. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. So two down. Josh Bell at the plate now. Grounded out his first time. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Josh Bell with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. First and second, two down. Randall Gritchick stands in now for the Diamondbacks. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Swing and a foul straight back. Two on, two outs. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get inside. deeper into this game. Just off the inside corner. And a count one and two. That one the other way. Wait. He takes it on his Ow. own. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and it's two zip. Back here in San Francisco, set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the Giants catcher, Kurt Casale. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Right through there for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. And up next for San Francisco, Brett Wisely. Ball one low. The Giants down by a pair here in the last half of the third. Ah. On the outside corner, and the count one and one. Ah. A big Two. swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Cuts ah. and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead of the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And he hits a ground ball right side. Perdomo on the first. Giants go in order. Giants go down quietly, and they're down 2 nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. And stepping in is the speedy Jake McCarthy. McCarthy. Webb back to work. No, Just outside. missed. Well, these Diamondbacks showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good one job ball. of working one the pitch strike. count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Swings and misses. One and two. One, two. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more Ball damage two. later in this game. And now two and two. That to right. And it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. With the way defenders track down yeah, balls yeah, yeah. these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. One one. McCarthy gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Ball and two. another ball. the ground Chapman there's one on the first double play as a former player watching five four three double plays brings back some adrenaline it's such an exciting play and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport and now the shortstop Kevin Newman the shortstop takes the ball Right-hander kicks deals. Two Ball, balls, no oh. strikes to count. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Got it started a little too early. Strike Two one. Ball. One strike. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. 
now Kevin Newman with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here runner at first with two away Jose Herrera stands in now for the Diamondbacks no, just off the, the outside edge Two outs. Out to short. Sends it across the first. And that is that. One left for Arizona, but they're on top 2 nothing. Ready to go. Ready to go. Now shot. it's the shortstop, Tyler shortstop. Fitzgerald. Tyler. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. You'll one. One one. Sliced hard but foul. Bounce to the left side. Newman. In there safely. Tyler Fitzgerald with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. The batter will be Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Oh. Old strike right there. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And that one is inside ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Nobody out. Runner at first. Yeah, two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. One for one with a single so far. Matt Chapman. Throw to first. Fitzgerald dives back in safely. Line to left. And it goes just foul. The pitch. Chapman gets a piece there. That misses the zone. Now one and two. And that's downed away. Next pitch is outside. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. 
got him looking, and he didn't like the call. No, no interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch yeah. after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Wait, right. batting for the second time, no and that's strike right. one. Ball. And a curve is down and in. One ball, one strike. Popped in the air. Left field. Guriel handles the chance. One left for San Francisco. They trail it here, 2-0. We go to the top of the fifth, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Geraldo Perdomo. Perdomo. And here it comes. And that's in for a strike. You know, these D-backs doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so... They keep Out. finding ways to put their bat on the ball. The throw to first, and the leadoff man set down the in their half of the fifth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One -oh. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Swing and a miss as he was One out more. front that time. Bounced out to short. Fitzgerald whips it to first. Ah. And a couple of quick outs. The bat. the bat, the left field. Here's Guriel. Guriel, one for two. First pitch misses. No. And another ball. Next offering in there for a two strike. Run. Now two balls and a strike. Ball and downstairs. Three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. To the right side. Tosses to the pitcher Out. covering the bag. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. So they make short work of them there. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Giants nothing. Back here at Oracle Park. Park. John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. Right it's set to get us started. Oh. Bottom five, number 59. Pitch. Ball. That one's upstairs. Ball one. Ball one. Well, all these Giants just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing hey, outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Here's a one-one. Out to short. Newman. Over to first, out. one up, one down. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. McCray, the next to hit, takes outside. Oh. 
Late swing, foul to the left. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. Two. Next offering in there for a strike. One and two. One ball, two Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had a Here's Kirk Casale. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Wouldn't chase that time. The Diamondbacks up by two. Last half of inning number five. Ball, and that's outside. outside. Two and oh. Probably looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Ball, Just no. missed. Three ball, no strike. Next offering in there for a strike. Three and now three and one. Strike. And he walked him. Take your base. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive the secondary, secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Wisely ball. takes a ball as he stands in for the second One time. No Casale off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Two. And a swing to miss. One, two. Two outs. Ball and two. another ball. Two balls. Two strikes. Swing and a pop-up. Newman pulls it down. And that will end the inning. So the Giants leave one. They trail things here. Two nothing. Top six. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Bell measures six feet four inches, 260 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Conforto going back, and he brings it into the warning track. And now the D.H., Randall Gritchen. Gets the outside corner with that one. Activity in the bullpen. Tristan Beck getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Number 76, also throwing. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. Kicks and deals. Ball one. Got it by him for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, now pitcher now and catcher on the same page right three. now. Jake Two outs, base is empty. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. This one lifted in the air, left field. Conforto makes the catch, inning over. Offense held a check there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Giants nothing.
And we're back. Leading Bottom up, of the six. The Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. One down. Not sure. Not sure. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. There's a strike. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Oh, that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. We'll see if he continues to climb the ladder. Swing and a miss struck him out. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Michael Conforto will climb in. Inside, almost got him. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That one missed. Ball. And it's even up. Two, two. two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Giants are down. One, two, three. They're still down. It's two zip. Tristan Beck on the pitch here. On for his major league debut at a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Suarez now in the box no comes up That's empty right. with a swing there no. outside. outside and a count even one and one right ah. through there for a strike a one two count one ball. all he's seen is fastballs you've got to expect something off speed stay back oh can't pick it up cleanly but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. Now that Next to hit, Kevin Ooh. Newman. No, first offering, and it just misses. Bases empty, one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. That one out to right. And a base hit. Now that catch it. Jose Herrera. One gone runner at first. Jose Herrera getting ready to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. And a strike on the outside edge. In there. And so now one and two. 
Newman, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Right. Right. Down the curveball struck him out. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right into the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. So the lineup flips over, digging in. Geraldo Perdomo, one for three. Check swing check. to the first Three. pitch. Look down to third. Did not go. Two outs. Runner takes off. Oh. Pitch is low. Safe hey. at second with a stolen base. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying. No home runs so far. So trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Runner at second, two down. Three. And a strike. Two ball, one strike. Good Go eye on that spot. Corbin Carroll waits on deck. Man on second, two down. That ah. one's in there. Now three and two. Okay. And ball, ball four, four to aboard. The white right is Corbin Carroll. So two on, but two away. Corbin Carroll now at the plate. Catches the corner for a strike. Oh, one. Two on, two outs. Out to short. Then that is that. Diamondback strand a pair. They're up to nothing. Here in San Francisco, set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's Matt Chapman. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And the ball. ball one. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Joe Mantiply up and throwing for manager Troy Lavello. Floro, the right hander, loosening up as well. But why to kick the pitch? Ground ball left side, and it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. But just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find the ball and get you a knock. So here's Wade now. And fouled off. With the tying run at the plate, near the bottom of the seventh. Pulled down the line. This one hammer, but it's fouled. Tying run at the plate. Out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Lamont Wade Jr. with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. First and second, no outs. And now the right fielder. That 
one's in there on one. So the tying run is second. Grounder might be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here's the center fielder, Grant McCray. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Fastball yep. for a strike. Always no tough ball. to turn two on a speedster strike. like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And the righty deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Righty delivers. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Two on, one out. That one, one misses. Two. One and two to count. In the air, right field. Carroll pulls it in on the run. A big one scores and the sack fly. And now they trail by one. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Tori Lavello is out of the dugout and he's going to make a move here. Brandon Fack won't go any further. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, A.J. Puck. On for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands, and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Casali, the next to hit, takes ball one. one. Ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Hard hit, right side. They get the force. Inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to finish the frame out of the bullpen. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Giants one. And welcome back Meeting to the ballpark. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Back, back to work. Gurriel gets a piece. Here comes the 0-1. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Under it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Up next to the diamond. Here's the Josh Bell. John Bell. Breaking ball inside. inside. Ball one. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. Here comes a pitch. In the air, left field. Conforto settles under it. He's got it, and there's two away. The bat, number 15. Two outs, bases empty. Randall Gritchick, the next to hit. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Fastball for a strike.
Next offering in there for a strike. And it's only two. Good pitch right strike. there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the ball, I'm going right back in there. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Nothing doing for Arizona, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. And a pitch. And oh. that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Justin Martinez, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Drops one down in front of the plate. And that's a blunt single. That was placed perfectly. Brett Wisely with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Mike Yastrzemski, the next Giant to hit. And there's the strike. Oh one. Trying to hold a one-run lead near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering misses down and away. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. The 1-2. And oh. another ball. Wisely on at first, nobody out. Still two and two after the foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. In the air, right side. Carroll flashes the leather on the running catch. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Tyler Fitzgerald. Now the number two hitter, Tyler Fitzgerald. Now snap throw to first. Wisely back on a dive. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score a ball in the gap. Guriel handles the chance. He'll let you number eight. Joe Mantiflar taking over on the mound. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And here is Michael Conforto. And things could change quickly here with one swing. That's outside. Okay, that's ball one. one. Up. 
And there's a curve through for a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to get a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Right side. And it's just foul. That was close. Two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. To start the ninth in this one. And now here is Jake McCarthy. McCarthy. Back, back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball. One strike. Pitches in there. And the count is 0 and 2. Right-handed reliever. That one down the line. And foul ball. The 0-2. Tapped softly on the ground. Foul. And that's just foul. The next pitch misses. Now one, one and two. two this guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Oh. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. Now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Outside. Next pitch is outside. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. And a pitch. Hard and three. down on strikes he goes. Now to a win. Kevin Newman stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Right through there for a strike. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Next offering is down low. Two down, nobody on. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and two. That's when you always want as a pitcher. Down at the knees, and it looked to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. Popped up wisely on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Nothing across here this half. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Giants one. Justin Martinez into the game. A chance at his first save of the year. Number 63, Justin Martinez. Here's Matt Chapman. Corner infielders guarding the lines. They tried to prevent extra bases. Yeah. 
The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. One Next more. offering is outside. Right through there for a strike. One run game, bottom nine. Line drive, base hit. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. What a great swing on that now, ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. Exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. No outs. Runner at first. And now Lamont Wade Jr., known for his late inning heroics. Left field. Guriel has it sized up. Drops into the glove. Now bad. Right fielder. He's two outs away. Now it's the right fielder. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. There's the strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Is outside and it's a long strike. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Got him swinging. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Now, Looks like a fastball thigh high, high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Now Bob Melvin going with a pinch hitter. Patrick Bailey. He represents the winning run. Bailey. First pitch just misses. A one run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Flips the corner and the count even at one. The Giants down to their final strike. Two, two. two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Oh, and there's a ball. Great hard last spot here. Okay. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The level will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Kurt Casali hitting on deck circle. Lift it to left, and this should do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Diamondbacks strand the tying run on base to win it. Fat with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case, as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.